Okay. Hi, hello, how are you? You hear me? Good evening. Yes, I hear. Okay. Good Excellent. evening, teacher. Hello, Francisca Elizabeth. How are you? Good. And you, teacher? Just waiting the rest. Remember that tomorrow you are going to have vacation because it's a holiday. Yes. Okay. I don't know in the in, in la empresa privada, no sé si funcionará eso. Ahí que don Luis nos diga si sí o no. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. Tomorrow okay. no work. Tomorrow, ah, okay, no. No, tomorrow nobody work. Only just celebrating. Yes, only celebrate in the night and uh, go to the party, man. With my, <laughs> with my, with my wife, with my ah, wife. Ah, ah, okay. Valga la aclaración. And my, and my son. Ah, okay, and your sons. Okay. Excellent. How many sons do you have, sir? Do you have a big family or a small family? I teacher. How many uh, son and, and daughter do you have? How many members? Yeah. Four teacher. My Four. wife and Four, see, uh, four. I'm my wife and two and two sons. Ah, okay, excellent. Are you married, teacher? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. How many sons do you have? I got two daughters. Ah, okay. Yeah, no sons, only daughters. Okay, teacher, thank you for your information. Okay, Prepare, okay. Okay, okay. Carlos, I don't know why you're laughing, Carlos, Carlos. Carlos, está riendo, ahí está riéndose. <laughs> yeah, welcome back, Judith. I have seen you that you are laughing too. And uh, you are, you look happy today. I don't know why, but you are happy. Maybe somebody next to you is telling some jokes or no, something. I, I just see your face. <laughs> oh, really? I was in shame because I, I, I get lost two days. <laughs> ah, okay. You feel a shame. <laughs> okay, don't yeah, worry. Man. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, before I start, I would like to talk about something that is really important for all of you. Uh, I'm going to do it maybe in Spanish because in that way you are not going to tell me that you didn't get the message, okay? You didn't get the message. Okay, hablamos un poco sobre la encuesta que ustedes van a llenar. El día viernes les van a enviar el enlace, pedirles de favor y informarles que no están autorizados para eh, realizar esa encuesta antes de la fecha indicada. Algo muy importante también es de que uh, no debemos de cometer errores al momento de llenar la encuesta ya que no habrá oportunidad de poder estar arreglando algún error. Se, la información se va a ir tal cual ustedes la escriban. Entonces, más creo de que ya la mayoría ha tenido la oportunidad de poder eh, hacer esa actividad y eh, pues se les enviará también una información extra para que no haya ningún tipo de duda. La información, alguna información van a tener que copiar y pegarla. Entonces se le sugiere que para el día A o con lo siguiente también 
que como el día de mañana es asueto y no habrá clases, entonces significa que nos uh, vamos a tener que reponer el día ese, eh, sería el día lunes. ¿Sí? Hola. Ok, teacher. Me están Estoy oyendo. Enterado. ¿Me están yes. oyendo o no me están oyendo? Yes, teacher. Yes, sir. Ah, ok. Ya decía. Que el viernes terminamos clase, dijo. No, 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 no. Terminamos el 21. El lunes, el lunes, yes, sir. 21 de junio. Sí. Imagínense cómo es la vida. ¿no? Me va a tocar trabajar el 21. Y ese día es, es, es a, a sueto para mí. Wait, 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 wait for a, a gift. Teacher, que no es el 22. Perdón. 22. El 22 es el asueto. 22. Yes. Ah. Día del ah. Teacher Days. Sí, tenemos que comenzar un día antes. <ríe> Así como el Father Day comienza, <ríe> comienza hoy. As soon as we finish the class. Everybody can go to celebrate to different places, you know. Así es. Bueno. Entonces, uh, referente a la información uh, que les estaba dando, el correo les va a llegar el día viernes. Pedirles de favor que no se adelanten a estarlo llenando. Lo vamos a hacer todos juntos. Eh, ahí se les va a enviar eh, toda la información necesaria para que puedan hacer la encuesta. Y, bueno, ahí ustedes van a poner lo que realmente ustedes consideren, ¿verdad? En mi caso solamente será de guiarlo para que su información personal sea la, la que han proporcionado a, a la empresa. De ahí con lo demás, pues ustedes tomarán la mejor decisión posible y harán las cosas como deben de hacerse, ¿verdad? Así es que en su momento, pues, les vamos a ir explicando, más creo de que ya muchos tienen como un poco de experiencia para a, llenar este tipo de encuestas, pero quien no la tenga, eh, pues ahí le vamos a ayudar, eh, decirles que nos van a enviar el horario en el cual vamos a hacerlo, todavía no... No sé realmente si lo vamos a hacer al inicio o lo vamos a hacer al final. En el último módulo, pues comencé con el grupo, el horario que me dieron, creo que fue después de las nueve. No sé con ustedes. Así es que pedirles ese día que si pueden hacerlo en una computadora será mejor que, que copiar y pegar algunos datos. Quien tenga la oportunidad para ¿Cuándo, teacher? Sería el día lunes. Sí. Ok, ok, teacher. Así es la evaluación que siempre se hace. Excelente es la evaluación que siempre Excelente. se hace. Así es que no, no, no se me vaya a adelantar nadie, por favor. Y ese día, con los ojos bien abiertos, para que no se me quede nadie ahí. Oye, y ahí voy a estar llamando a fulano. Porque está, ¿Verdad? Despierte, despierte, tome agua, tome café, haga aquí, haga allá. ¿Sí? Ok. Okay, thank you. Uh, welcome back. We are going to start working this night. And uh, I invite you to participate because that way you are going to increase your, your, your skills. Para que no se me duerman, necesito que participen. Deben estar participando siempre. De lo contrario, pues ustedes entran en un comfort y dicen, no, no, no quiero decir nada. Okay. Let me see, I spent 11 minutes. Okay, before I forgot, happy Father's Day for tomorrow. 
antes de que se me escape y no los pueda felicitar el día de mañana, porque mañana ni, ni nada le van a entrar a su teléfono. Creo que de hoy se los van a decomisar. Entonces, por eso los felicito desde el día de hoy a los que son padres. Creo que todos, o no sé, quizás no. Y los que no son, pues, ya han de estar en proceso de trámite. Yo no. Los que están vírgenes. Ah, ok. Ellos que se mantengan así, porque es mejor. Yeah, it's, it's, it's better. Y los, que, y los que no se han dado cuenta también, Tiché. Mire, eso, eso, eso es complicado, fíjese. Esos que no se dan cuenta es, es bien complejo. Sí. Ay, 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 ay. Así es que averigüe quiénes son. Don Luis. Ay, Don Luisito. Don Luisito. Don Luisito. Un partido de fútbol se dice con sus ¿Sí? hijos. No, es que yo le digo eso porque cuando mi hermano tenía 18 años, en el primer trabajo lo llevaron a la celebración del Día del Padre. Okay. Y él dijo que él no tenía hijos, que no, no podía ir. Y dice que la, la gerente le dijo, lo que pasa es que no te has dado cuenta. Va a la celebración. Y no dejó a nadie. Se llevó ah. a todos los varones. Entonces, por eso le digo yo, y los que no se han dado cuenta. Ah, ahí está. Bueno, hay razón. He ahí el detalle. Bueno, póngale un poco de atención a eso. Okay, let us start now talking about. Okay, I have. A... Hello, welcome. Teddy, no nos va a pasar. Yeah, I'm going to uh, uh, by name, but first of all, I would yeah. like to read the first question. Antes de pasar la lista, solo le voy a leer la pregunta. The first question says, Are you good at reading maps? And do you usually ask for directions to locate places? Okay, lo dejo con esa pregunta y. Hacemos la lista en este momento. Recuerden que la lista es muy importante. La asistencia. Al inicio del curso les explicaron que eh, es sumamente importante. Si no está la asistencia requerida, entonces ahí tenemos problemas. Y recuerden que yo voy registrando uh, lo que les voy preguntando. Cuando usted me responde de que sí está, eso es lo que escribo. Así es que explico esto así en español porque al final no quiero que hayan malos entendidos y van a decir, es que como él me puso falla, por eso es que no alcancé a llegar. Por eso se le llama tres veces. Imposible que las tres veces no digan, sí, aquí estoy. Ok, Alex Humberto. Present teacher. Ah, ok, Ana Beatriz. No. Ok. Eh, Ana Judith. Por ahí la vi. Ana Judith. Blanca. Present teacher. Um, let me see, Carlos. Present. Claudio. Carlos Antonio, present. Carlos Antonio, present. Yeah, Carlos Antonio también. Okay. Claudio. Present, teacher. Edwin. Present, teacher. Francisca. El me present teacher. Gonzalo. Present teacher. Eh, Eduardo. I hear teacher. Okay, thank you. Carla. 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 No. Marcela. Present teacher. Luis Alfonso. Present teacher. Luis Manuel. Luis Manuel. Luis Manuel. ¿Cómo está? 
Uh, Walter. Walter. Present teacher. Ahí está Walter. Yes. Hey, Ariel. Ahí está Ariel, el listener no aparece. En Néstor Iván. Néstor. Present teacher. Ok. Bueno. Let us continue talking about the question. Okay, the, who wants to remember the question that I asked at the beginning? ¿Quién recuerda la pregunta que hice? At ready maps. It's good at ready map. Okay. Are you good reading maps? Yeah, it's good. Okay. Very good. Yeah, because but, but, the, because but the, the, uh, you know. Um... Okay, jump, jump, jump. What happened there? Okay, are you good at reading maps? Tell me, please. Yes, teacher. Okay. Do you use a special uh, app? Yeah, it's, it's very important because in your uh, cell phone? Uh, 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 driving, what is it, driving? Yes. Um, for the, for the ubication. Okay. Um, Okay, 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 okay. Do you usually ask for direction to locate places? Yes, teacher. Google Play, <laughs> Google, Google Maps. <laughs> Okay, Google Maps. Yeah, I question Google Maps. In Google Maps, only only one for me. Only. Okay. Do you have a, a special app in order to to give directions or not? Yes, teacher. Or maybe a GPS yes. in your car. Not teacher. I, I mean, I no, just... it's dangerous. Sometimes it's dangerous. Okay. New cars? Uh, yes. They, they lo, have GPS. Lo meten, mm, lo meten a colonias que uno no conoce. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Only, only one. Es que no lo puedo decir en inglés. Una vez nos pasó con mi hermano, my brother. Okay. Nos perdimos, nos perdimos. Really? Con, con la, sí, con la aplicación de. Ay, no me acuerdo cómo se. Waze. 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 Había un, un tráfico y, y en, en la carretera que va para Soyapango. Okay. Y era bien, era de noche y nos metió a colonias que no. No conocíamos ni podíamos preguntar a dónde andábamos. Yeah. Y, y el celular yeah. se estaba descargando. Ya solo teníamos como el 2% de carga y no podíamos salir. Yeah, Entonces, yeah. desde esa vez no, no, no utilizamos. Mejor nos quedamos a donde ten, tengamos que estar, pero no, no utilizamos aplicaciones para salir de tráficos. ¿Ya? Yes. Ok. I remember, uh, let me see. Let me see, talking about in 2005, I guess. Uh, as soon as I arrived to the El Salvador, because I spent some time out of the country, I went to the capital to a meeting. And the meeting ended about 10.30 at night. And I was wondering how I'm going to do in order to go back to my house. And what I did was that I called a friend. 
And he told me, okay, you need to look for this street and then you are going to look for this avenue and you are going to go straight ahead for uh, uh, five minutes, 10 minutes. Yeah, different uh, ways how to do it, yeah. In the United States is, uh, I guess it's totally different because some the, uh, the car, they have a GPS, yeah. And I know that uh, the cities are huge, but right here in El Salvador, we have a problem because sometimes uh, this, uh, this app sometimes send you uh, in a wrong way, but we need to be careful about what kind of application we are using. But tell me more about you, please. Chair. Hello. And the application ways, um, I, in my case, I use 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 uh, um, some time. In in this country, in, in my country, uh, I don't I don't I don't use uh, um, ways. Okay. I use I use ways and and when I travel um for Honduras, uh, from Nicaragua, um, Guatemala is yes, very important. Okay. Yeah, um, I I I don't need the avenue and uh, street and the application and only only see only only tall, uh, turn left, turn turn right, uh, strike, yeah, you Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I, yeah, and and I don't have I don't have any any problem with okay. the application. Yeah, for me, very important. Okay, 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 okay. What about you, Blanca Elizabeth? What can you tell me about? Do you drive? Or do you travel by bus? No, no. You do. Bus? Okay. Pero, como decirlo? Pero si, ways, lo ocupamos. Okay. Okay. What about you, Nestor? Yes, sir. Do I use that? ways. I use ways. Okay. Yeah. Okay. For me, uh, for me, it's very easy. Yeah, that application tells you also tell you uh, if the police is uh, in a specific place where you are going to pass, right? Or if yeah. there is an accident or something like that, I guess. Yes, teacher. Okay, entonces, eso es importante porque les va avisando cuando hay radar. Aquí no sé, creo que nadie usa radar, eso sí. But in the United States, uh, uh, ¿Cómo no? ¿Cómo no? the I, trailer I, use, uh, ellos usan los radares. Y si uno va, maneja, si uno va manejando después, detrás de ellos, ellos le encienden una luz y le dicen, ahí está el policía. Entonces, si sí, sí hay, sí hay oh. radares, si sí hay ¿Vale? teacher, si sí, ya, yeah, pero son, son este. Ilegal. Ya, yeah, son ilegales. Ah, ok, ilegal. Son ilegales. Eh, más que todo lo usan este, lo que es el, el carro, este, el carro modificado, porque mm -hmm. corre, corre en la carretera. Tienen, tienen a un lado izquierdo, tienen una, tienen un aparatito. Okay. Que, 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 que yo no sé si está conectado con lo que es este, la, la red policial, pero ellos conocen dónde do, hay policía, dónde no hay policía, pero es ilegal. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Imagínense, pues. Eso pasa solo en El Salvador. Ok. Yeah. <laughs> ah, in different places. Ok, Claudio Méndez, what can you tell me about? Are you good in reading maps? Hello. Hello, sir. We are talking about uh, application in order to get to a specific place. Are you good reading map following directions? In my case, uh, waste. <laughs> okay, only waste? Yeah, only, so less, so less. Okay. Son fieles a ways. Bueno. Excelente. 
Okay, but what about when somebody asks you uh, some information, uh, some address? Uh, it is easy for you to give a, a direction or not? In my case, teacher, it's a little difficult because okay. I know uh, perfectly the name of the, of the strip. Okay. And I, I only say the direction in a los salvadoreños. Okay. Let's do something or in front of. Okay. I, I know the, the, the name of the all that strip. Okay. Ahí por donde hay un palo de amate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, somebody else? In my case, also, I use ways. Uh, I lie for the news okay. uh, of the traffic. Mm. Uh, para tomar rutas alternas. Okay. Okay, let me see what else do we have here. Okay. Okay, yeah, you can see this is a this is a little map. There's a map a pequeñito. And I have an X here. Uh, we are going to start here. Imagine if I ask you to, how you are going to get to the train station. What can you tell me about it? How can I do in order to get to the train station? If I ask you. Teacher, um, he's in front of my street. Oh, okay, in front of the main street. But if, yeah, if I don't, if I don't know where, where is main street, how I'm going to do it? Tell me. I don't understand. Si yo no conozco dónde está la main street, cómo voy a hacer? Hay que preguntar, teacher. Hello. Second Avenue. Yeah. Okay, imagine I'm here work, in this, in work, this, this X. Teacher is walking, walk straight, straight in uh, Second Avenue and two room left in the second car, maybe. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Go we'll strike one block and ah, one left. Go we'll strike one block and then. Turn on the left. To the left, the train the station is. Train station is in front of bank. Ah, on Main front, Street. Across from the bank. Okay. Okay, could be. Nice. Uh, what about if I need to go to the police station? How can I do it? The police, the police station is on Freeze Avenue and, and next, next okay. to Bank. Okay. And only that. Only that? Yeah, because I don't know. C is a, a, a trip, a strip. Which one? The Apple Street? Apple Street? Yeah. Um, no, the letter C is a... a no, it's, it's another building. Oh, next to the building C. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I like that because you have uh, some knowledge about this. Okay, okay, okay. Let us see this, please. 
Uh, we are going to name some prepositions. Um, I need that you practice. I know that you already have in your mind, but we are going to repeat it. For example, this one is next to. Could you say it please? Next to. Could you repeat it please? Next to. Next to. In front of. 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 Around the corner. Around the corner. Around the corner. On the right. On the right. On the right. Between. Between. Across the street. Across the street. On the left. On the left. Down the street. Down the street. Okay. Uh, somebody wants to tell me what is the meaning in Spanish? Next to is? Montigo. El siguiente. O siguiente. A, a la par de. Yes. Siguiente. Next to. Después de. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> if you want, you can make an, a screenshot because, well, I need to see your, your, your faces too. Okay. Next to, imagine that you are in the cinema. And you are... Yes. 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 Okay, please. Let me, let me do it, let me do sorry, it. Sorry, pero, sorry, Carolita, pero yo aunque nadie hable, casi no lo entiendo. <laughs> ya somos dos, pero cuando más hablan todos, peor, más perdida que la cabrita de Hayley. Jesus. <laughs> Go, teacher. Well, let me stop showing <laughs> that. It's going to be in this way, okay? Ok, imagine, what I'm saying, lo que yo estoy diciendo es lo siguiente. Um, imagine that a girl decides to go to the cinema alone. Yeah, and she is sitting there. Ella está sentadita ahí. And suddenly you arrive too. Y de repente llega un caballero and ask the question, can I sit down next to you? What is the meaning? Yes, certainly. <laughs> uh, what is the meaning? Allow. The meaning. Yeah, the meaning in Spanish about the preposition. A la par de. Sienta la par de. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that is next to. Next to. Okay. Uh, what about the, 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 the next one? In front of. What is that? Frente. Frente de. Uh, imagine that you are, you are looking for you, your glasses and you have it in your desk and your secretary said, uh, you have it in front of you. Yeah. Serious, they are very serious. Okay, yeah, yeah. No por hablar, Sí, sí, más creo que quizás eso. No, hablen todo lo que quieran, compañeros. Compañero. Eso, eso fue, eso fue, eso fue. Ok, I'm going to show you again. Ok, I have next to, in front of, around the corner. What is this? Around the corner? I don't know the meaning of this. Teacher. Around the corner, right here. I don't know if you can see. No sé si puede ver. Cerca ahí. de la esquina. Yeah. Mm. Okay, on the right. Ala. Ala. Derecha. A la derecha. A la derecha. Sí, en la derecha. Que, yo creí a que me derecha. iban a decir que estaba adorando a Ala. <laughs> okay, between. Between. Between is. Between two lovers, teacher. Entre. Okay, across the street. Across the street is this. Across the street. Al cruzar la calle. Oh, okay. Les pido que quienes tengan duda en su cuadernito vayan anotando. Por favor. Okay. On the left. 
la de a la izquierda. A la izquierda. A la izquierda. Okay. Down the street. Es como bajo la, bajo la carretera. En el, Bajando el, la calle. Pero yeah, como, down the street. Down the street. Okay. ¿Qué es, teacher? ¿Cuál es el dominio de down the street? Down the street. Ya, bajando. Sí. O puede ser por la calle. Mm, by the street. It's different. Remember that we have uh, another preposition that we don't have it here. One is up, another is down. Arriba, abajo. Aquí no las tenemos completas, faltan, pero estamos hablando solo las más usuales. Ok. Ok, I mean that somebody, uh, let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see what, what I'm going to do. Because I need that all of you be active in my class now. Okay, Alex and Ana Beatriz, si está por ahí, me trabaja una oración usando next to. Sí? Okay, teacher. Uh, Ana y Judith y Blanca trabajan una de in front of. Carlos Alfredo con Carlos Antonio. Around the corner. Tiene que ser diferente cada oración que van a hacer. Eh, Claudio y Edwin. Between. Elmer and Francisca. Across the street. Gonzalo and Jose Eduardo. On the Gonzalo. De Gonzalo. Carla Marisol y Marcela. Down the street. Luis Alfonso y Luis Manuel next to y Walter con let me see with Nestor in front of okay. teacher, teacher I have a question okay. teacher tell me it's necessary uh, uh, with the uh, with do the the maps Excuse me. Is necessary uh, with doing the maps? No, 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 no. Oh. no. Not necessary. We are going to talk only as a. Well, you can use directions. Yeah. We, we are not going to use a map now. Later on, we are going to use it. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Luis Manuel. ¿Dónde está Luis Manuel? Manuel, Luis Manuel no está. Sí, es que a mí me puso con él. Yeah, but, but don't worry because uh, if I mention two people, también uh, en español, a los dos que nombré, lo que van a hacer solo es trabajar con esas preposiciones. No es que se van a poner de acuerdo. Lo único que esos dos van a trabajar es esa preposición. Ok, ok, ok. Ok, teacher. Thank you, thank you. En los negativos, son rígidos, son rígidos, cerrados, resistentes al cambio, limit, eh, limitan nuestro. Gonzalo Valle Valle. Adelante. A ver. ¿Cómo estamos, Gonzalo? Sí. <laughs> okay, as soon as you have your sentence, just let me know, please. No necesitan esperar al compañero, solo hacen la oración de la preposición que ya se les asignó y me, me van diciendo. Teacher. Hello. Cuando usted este, me dijo la preposición que me tocaba, habló el compañero, yo no le comprendí, teacher, es más, no le escuché, no sé qué es lo que me tocó a mí. Entonces ahí es la culpa del compañero. Maybe. Solo dígale una cualquiera, teacher. No, 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 no. Cualquiera. What's your name, sir? Gonzalo. Ah, Gonzalo. 
Shalom, shalom. Okay, uh, you can work with, let me see. Okay, between, you can use between, between. Okay, you got it, thank you. Okay, do it now, please. If you have it, just tell me. Between. Okay, please tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. The bank is in front of the supermarket. Teacher, I have a question. I have okay. a question to ask. The, when when this day is day, for example, 25 de abril is 25 on abril in, in the street. Cuando el nombre de la calle es 25 de abril, para escribirlo en inglés, sería 25 on April. Mm, generalmente los nombres de las calles, si los tenemos en español, we are going to use it in Spanish. Mm. Ah, pues le voy a poner otro nombre. Thank you, teacher. But ima imagine that uh, an American ask you a question about an address. Si un americano le pregunta eh, uh -huh. una dirección, how you are going to tell me? Because uh, all the sites are in Spanish. Okay, teacher. Okay. Well, what he's going to do is just to infer the meaning in Spanish and also in English. Pero, pero no vamos a hacer la pregunta, ¿verdad? Solo la oración no, de la solo, respuesta. Only a sentence. Solo una oración. Va. Ready, Ready teacher. teacher. Ok, do it now, please. Si ya la tiene. Ok. Um, the cinema is down the street to my house. I really enjoy that. Uh, the cinema is down the street from down, my house. Down, down, okay. down. down the street to my house. Okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Down the street. To my house. I really enjoy that. Okay. From my house. Yeah. To my house also can use it. Okay, next please. Me. Um, Carlos. Me. The bank is around around the corner near the hotel. Oh, okay. The bank is around the corner near the hotel. Should be next to the hotel, in front of the hotel, across. Okay. Okay, okay teach. Meet teacher. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Meet Alex. Meet Okay, go ahead, bro. Super, Alice. super. Thank you, Don Alex. Supermarket is across the street, Avenue Roosevelt. Ah, okay. Sometimes missing the article. The supermarket. The supermarket is across the street on Avenue Roosevelt. Okay. The Roosevelt Avenue, Roosevelt Avenue. Roosevelt okay. Avenue. Okay, I'm going to okay. ask you in a democratic way. ¿Saben cuál es la forma democrática, verdad? <laughs> okay, and I'll do it for you. Tell me your sentence. Okay, Frank is in front of the supermarket. Can you repeat again, please? 
The bank is in front of the supermarket. The bank is in front of the supermarket. Ok, le oí así, bien suavecito. Ok, thank you. Gonzalo Valle Valle. Gonzalo. Hello, teacher. What about you, sir? Tell me a sentence. Ok. Yesterday, I parked my car between bus and a tram. Ok, between. Ok, el Carlos is done. Carlos Escobar, you did, right? Okay, you did. Okay, you did. Okay, okay, Alex. Alex. Okay. Okay, teacher, yes. I work in the office that is next to First Avenue and Prolongation Arts Street. Okay. Nestor Ivan. The gas station is in front of Plaza Merliot on Main Street. Yeah, the Plaza Merliot on the Main Street. Okay, Edwin Balmore Flores. Hello, teacher. Um, the gas station is between the building of bank and restaurant. The gas station is between, between the building of bank and restaurant. Between the bank and the restaurant, okay. Thank you, Elizabeth. The pharmacy is in front of the school. The pharmacy is in front of the school, okay. Carla Marisol. The company is one street down from the bank. Okay. Luis Alfonso. Okay, teacher. My office is next to his office on the Calle RC prolongation between 41 and 43 Avenue North. North. Peter Nelton South. North. North. Yeah. North. Okay. Elmer. Elmer. The restaurant of China food is across the street. Across the street. Yep. Okay. Meet this. Say Eduardo. Uh, the market, uh, the pharma, the pharmacy is between the supermarket and the and the and the gas station. Okay, the pharmacy. Marcela. Marcela. Yes, teacher. Your sentence is done. I say my sentence first. Okay. Claudio. Hello, uh, Angie Shops is between the library and a dinner. And? The library? Hello. Library and a dinner. Library? Library. library. But you are using between, right? Be between. Okay, remember that you need to mention uh, both places. The one that is at the left and the one that is at the right. Okay, Walter Vialta. Uh, which are my co worker is front of me. You repeat again, please. Excuse me? Could you repeat again, please? Okay. With our my co worker in front of me.
Okay, mm -hmm. what you are trying to tell me is that your for worker is in front of you. Is front of me. Okay. Is front of you. Yes. Okay, not in front of me, in front of you. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. Sí, porque yo no lo tengo enfrente. Correcto. Es correcto, es correcto, thank you. Pero Francis, Francis, ¿qué dice? Mm -hmm. Again. Mi teacher. Yes. The supermarket is across the street um, having, um, Roosevelt Avenue. And the Roosevelt Avenue. Okay, Carlo Alfred. Carlo Alfredo. Carlos Alfredo. Hello, Carlos Alfredo. Sorry. Okay. Uh, my example is the chore is around the parker near to the main street. Okay. 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 Thank you. Let us continue. Okay. Okay, I got I got something here. In this picture, what I can show you is that if you need to go in this direction, that means that we are going to use go straight ahead. Go straight ahead. Go straight on. Yeah. What about this one? Yeah, you see? What about the, the, the one that was here? Just go to your left. Turn to the left. And in this case, is turn right. Okay. Turn right. Okay, let us take a look at this picture. Uh, we already talked about some of them, but let us try to uh, remember. In is in, it is the ball is in the box. The ball is in the box. The ball is in the box. Okay, what about up? Up. Down. Arriba. Abajo. Abajo. Piñata. Sobre. Arriba. Arriba. No. Sobre. Sobre. Out of. Fuera de. Fuera de. Under. Encima. Abajo de. Abajo de. In. Adentro. Adentro. Over. Sobre. Up. La paz. Ah, sobre. Mm. Okay. Across. Cruzar. Cruzando. Alone. Largo, lejos, distancia. Lejos. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Let us practice now. Teacher, I'm sorry. I, I have a question. It's the meaning along uh, maybe could uh, sería uh, se me fue la idea uh, se me fue la es la pregunta teacher I'm sorry okay, try to remember try to remember try to remember our oh, question teacher okay who is the meaning at at a point, a certain point. Oh, thanks. Oh, okay, that, that, that word we can use it um, in different uh, meaning, but according to the picture, what can you infer about at? Uh, 
stop uh, work from or go ahead. Yes. Pass. Only the word at. Mm -hmm. Walk. Walk. At is like a. Well, all depends if, if we combine uh, in a different, with a different, uh, with a different word, we can have uh, another meaning. But sometimes uh, we can use it. Let me go back and show you. Yeah, and a specific point. Yeah, at the corner would be. Uh, okay, let us see if we can find an example here. So, sorry, Bye, teacher. teacher. Uh, okay, let us do it. Okay, now go ahead and try. Let, let us try. One by one, one by one, please. No, go ahead and try. No, no, I see. Okay, let us take a look at, the, at these pictures. We have the first street, we have library, we have a train station, we have church, we have a hospital, we have a movie theater, restaurant, school, coffee, drugstore, we have the bank, and what else do we have? Let me move something here in order to see it. Okay, police station and store on the main street. Okay, number one said the police station is between the bank, the bank and the store. Okay. I'm going to read it. Just don't give me an answer now, please. Second, the drugstore is the police station. Number three, the school is the restaurant. Number four, the train station is the school. Number five, the drugstore is the movie theater and the post office. Try to solve it and later on we are going to We are going to check the answers based on the picture that we have. If you want, you can make a, a screenshot of what this. Okay, yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, 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 okay. Let me start the attendance. Okay. Veamos la asistencia otra vez. Ya somos nine. Okay, Alex. Present teacher. Ana Beatriz. Ana Judith. Blanca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Carlos. Present. Carlos Antonio. Present. Claudio. Edwin. Present teacher. Elmer. Present teacher. Francisca. 
Present teacher. Gonzalo. Present teacher. Jose Eduardo. I'm here, teacher. Okay, uh, Carla Marisol. Estoy. Marcela. Present teacher. Thank you, Alfonso. Present teacher. Luis Manuel. Not Walter. Present teacher. Ariel. Nestor. Present. Okay. I got it. I got it now. Okay, let us answer the question. Okay, who wants to give only one, please? Uh, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give the opportunity to five participants to give me an answer. But just tell me if, if you want to participate, just tell me your name and I'm going to assign one. Okay. Who wants to answer the number one? Quien quiere responder la número uno? Me teacher, Marcela. Okay, Marcela, tell us, what do you think is the answer? Um, the police station. Yeah. The police station is between the bank and the store. Okay, keep it, keep it. Mantenga su respuesta ahí, okay. Let us see number two. Who wants me to do it? The drugstore is Elizabeth. across. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Mm. The, the drugstore is across the police station. The police station. What is the preposition that you're using? Across. I know, teacher, in front of F. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Sorry, okay. teacher. Number three, number three, please. Hello. Me, teacher. Okay, good. Uh, the school is on the left, the restaurant. The school is on the left. The restaurant on the left of the restaurant. Okay. Um, later on, we are going to check it. The answer. Okay. Number four. Meet the sir. Okay. Go ahead, Gonzalo. Uh, the train station is um, around the corner. The school. Mm -hmm. Okay. The train station is, you said, around the corner? Around the, the corner and the school. Okay, mantenga su respuesta, please. Okay. Uh, number five. Me, 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 teacher. Eduardo, Eduardo, Eduardo. The drug, drug store is between the movie, is, uh, the movie theater. Uh, movie theater and the post office. The post office, post office. The post office. Yeah, the drugstore. Yes. The drugstore is? Is drugstore. Drugstore, drugstore. Drugstore. No. Okay. Drugstore. Okay, now uh, let me see. Han participado cinco. Ok. The rest, if you are not agree with one answer, just tell me. El resto que no participó. Si hay, alguna, si hay alguna que usted cree que no es así, solo me va a decir el número 
y la respuesta que usted considera. Ok, do it now, please. Teacher, for me, no, no, number four. Number four? Number four, uh, I disagree. The, okay. the answer. Okay. For me, it? for me, it's across the street. The train station is across the street. Mm, okay. Just, that is your answer. Okay. Somebody else? Front of. I know you did. In front of. In front of what? The, the train station is in front of the school. Ah, in front of the school. Okay. Ya tenemos varias versiones. Okay. Somebody else in a different sentence? Yes, in front of. Okay, en otra oración, en otra oración. No? Number three. Okay, number three, what happened there? The school is... Uh, the school is... Next to... Next to... Ah, next to... Next to the restaurant. Ok, ok, cada quien mantenga, escriba la respuesta que me está dando para luego verificar. Ok, en otro lugar, please. ¿Al otro? ¿No? Let me see if I got the answers, ok. The police station is between the band and the store. Remember that we have five. Tenemos cinco, entonces cada una tiene el valor de dos puntos. Veamos cuántos tuvo usted. Number two, the drugstore is across from the police station. Number three, the school is next to the restaurant. Number four, the train station is across from the school. Okay, and number five, the drugstore is between the movie theater and the post office. Is la captura con la No, oh, okay, la rego, okay. Chef, pero, pero en la number, en la number two, across the street, es cruzándose la calle, ese es para cruzarse la calle, ¿verdad? Yep. Entonces habla de la calle o habla de, la, de los policías que están enfrente de la estación de policías. Porque, porque la pregunta decía que estaba enfrente de la estación de policías, pero yo primero le dije a cross porque pensé que eso era cruzarse la calle. Ok. Pero no habla, no habla de la calle, sino habla de los policías, de la estación de policías que está enfrente. Sí. Yes. The drugstore, okay, first of all, take a look, where, where is the, the drugstore here? Okay, the drugstore is here. Yeah, the drugstore is across from the police station. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but also we can use in front of. Okay. Okay, another question now? Pregunten, pregunten, en el examen pregunto. Ok, ah, ok, ok, ok. And before to continue, I would like to... Ok. Carlos Escobar. What was your grade? ¿Cuál fue su nota? Eight. You got eight, ok. Blanca. Eight. Okay, Eduardo. Um, yes, this is <laughs> not. Uh... <laughs> Alex. Yeah, teacher. How many points do you do? do you... Un, un eight también, teacher. No, no, okay. You, you need to be honest. ¿Cuántas le salieron buenas? Based on that, it's going to be. Es que, mire, teacher, la verdad es que 
de, de en esa dirección se pueden hacer varias, no solamente una. Pero yeah. como aquí había que aplicarla, okay. había que aplicarla de acuerdo a, 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 al espacio que he dejado en la oración. Yes, I know that. ¿Verdad? Yeah. Yeah. No porque yo tengo 10. Ah, ok, you got 10. <laughs> What about you, Nestor? I have 8. Ok, 8. Edwin? Six. Ok. Gonzalo? Six, teacher. Ok. You did? Your microphone is not working, you did. I, 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 I can hear you very well. No. You have problems with your with your no. microphone, maybe Luis. Hello, Luis Alfonso. Yo solo say no, solo say teacher. Only six, okay. Luis Manuel. <clears throat> Se me durmió. Marcela. Eh, six teacher. Ok, Carla Marisol. Carla. Carla. Ok, Walter. Six teacher. Ok, Francisca. Teacher. Between A and them. Por eso que yo le digo que usted dice que allí salía cross, across, ah, okay. pero es en, en front, entonces no sé si tengo ocho o tengo diez. Ah, ok, Carlos. Carlos. Eight. Ok, Elman. Elman. Six teacher. Luis Manuel. Okay, let us continue. Okay, here we go. What about this one? Take a look at the, at the picture and you are going to tell me uh, the right preposition. Okay, de los cinco que ya habían participado, ahora vamos con siete más. Okay, who wants to do the number one? Okay. Really? Yes. Okay. The house is in front of the car. Ah, ok. Lo mismo. Escriba la respuesta que dio y le pone el numeral. Number two. Number two. Teacher, el do es eso que es... The do is, is dao. Dao the sum. <laughs> the dog is down. Down the sun, está bien. Está bajo el sol, pues sí. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> es válida, es válida. <laughs> ok, ya veremos. Ya veremos. <laughs> Excelente, <laughs> partner. <laughs> ya, ya veremos, pero. Ok, ah, ok. Veremos. Ok. <laughs> Lo vamos a dejar ahí, ok, we're going to leave it down, but later on we're going to start. Number, number three, please. It read it to the left or the house. I read the whole sentence, please. Lea toda la oración. The three is. The three is to the left to the left the house. The house. Okay. Number four. Number four. 
the car is in front of the house. The car is in front of the house. Number five. The song is like the dog. The song is? The song is like the song. The dog. The dog. The song is? The song is down the house. Okay, be careful with the number two and number five. Number five. Yeah. Sam is the dog. The dog. What is the Teacher, the dog, pues, yo, yo, el, el, por ejemplo, el, el under, yo lo tomaba como, por ejemplo, ando en el agua y dice bajo el agua. On the water. On the water. Pero aquí en el sol, por eso le, le puse el down. Pues no sé si era el down o era el under. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, we are going to clarify your question later. Okay. Yeah. Number six. Number six, please. The house is between the dog and the tree. Teacher, yo contesté porque nadie contesta. Okay, number seven. Ana Judith, Ana Judith. Number seven. The dog is to the left of the house. The dog is to the? Uh, to the right. Ah, to the right of the house. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, uh, let me see. Uh -huh. The house is behind, behind the car. Ojo con esa preposición. Number two. The dog is below the sun. Okay, below. Carlos was uh, asking me something yeah. about this, I guess. Below. Yeah, below. Below. Yeah, below. Okay, next. The tree is to the left of the house. Number four. The car is in front of the house. Okay, what else? And the sun is above the dog. Above. Yeah, uh, maybe you are not familiar with below and above. Pero si no estaban familiarizados, ahora se la aprendieron. Que es below y que es above. Okay. The house is between the dog and the tree. And the last one said... The dog is to the right of the house. If you want to make an, a screenshot, do it now, please, because I'm going to switch. Bye. Ya lo hizo? No? Okay, teacher. No, yeah, no lo sure. hizo, no lo hizo, no lo hizo. Okay. Let me see this. Take a look at the picture. The cut is the table. Oh. The base is the table. Mm -hmm. The flower are the base. Okay. Good. Nestor. Number one. Okay. The cat, the cat is under the table. Under the table. Okay. Number two. Number two. In, in the, in the base the, on, the base is on the table. Oh, nice. Okay, number uh, three. The flowers are at the base. 
The flower the flower are in the base. In the base. Okay, the card is under the base on and the flower are in the base. Teacher. Hola. I need a, the explanation of this, the del uso del under, the uso del below. Ah, okay. Okay. Okay, based on the picture, basado en la figura, el gatito está debajo It's de. In the floor. Él está debajo de. Table. La mesa. Ese es el significado de under. Sí, under the table. Sure. ¿Te y con el sol, no estaba debajo del sol el, el, el perrito. Ah, ok. Ahí existe una explicación. Más, uh, ¿cómo le diría? Tengo para show you here. Ok. Aquí es diferente. ¿Por qué? Porque aquí no vemos ningún objeto encima de él. ¿Sí? Entonces, uh -huh. al final, el perrito está below the sun. ¿Sí? Él está debajo del sol. Pero cuando hay algo acá, por ejemplo, si estuviese uh, a mechanic, here, ¿qué, ¿qué es lo que debemos de usar? O sea, que es de, de un objeto o algo, ¿no? Ah, ok, ok. Ah, ok, ok, yo creo que ya. O sea que si nosotros caminamos, podemos decir we, we walk in este, um, below the sun. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Ok. Oh, I got more than probably me see I'm going to do something. We have a lot of this. Okay, based on the, my lesson plan, I need to show the map. Okay, let me see if I have a map here. I got it, I got it. I know that maybe it's going to be kind of, kind of difficult to see, but let me try to do it now, please. When you live in the capital, that means that uh, you know those places better than me, okay? Okay, I'm, going, uh, I'm showing you a map. I don't know if you are able to, to watch it. No sé si pueden ver uh, bastante bien el mapa. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. yes, teacher. Ok, I'm going to do something. I'm going to put, let me see where we are going to be. Let me see. Ok, I'm going to put it. Right here, I'm going to put the next here. Let me do it now. Um, okay. We are here. Can you see the X? Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. El punto de partida será la X. Okay. And the question that we are going to use is this. How can I get to, and you are going to mention the name of the place. For example, I can ask you, uh, how can I get to the city hall? Do you know what is city hall? Yeah, la alcaldía. Okay, somebody wants to give me the address if I am in the 
Mercado de Cuartel. Uh, en Mercado de Cuartel is a uh, a little far away, but I'm going to we are going to start in this point. How can I do it in order if I want to get to the city hall? Okay, let me give you an example. If I'm here and somebody asks me to how to get to the city hall, what I can say is yeah, okay. Uh, you need to go straight ahead for three blocks. That means that is going to be here. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, to, to right. And then, okay, listen. And then to right, okay. And go straight on for how many blocks I need to go straight? Three. Three blocks. Let me see. One, two, and three. Okay. And that means that I'm going to get to the Alameda Juan Pablo II. <clears throat> Is that right? Yes. Okay, and then I need to make a turn. Turn left. To the left. Luego hago un giro a la izquierda for how many blocks? For three. Two blocks. Two blocks. Let me see. By two blocks. Or three. Okay, imagine that are three blocks. Okay, how we are going to, how you are going to tell me where I'm going to find a city hall? Ahí falta todavía. Ya, ya hicimos el giro, nos fuimos tres cuadras recto. Luego, ¿qué me dirían? The city hall is on your... Best of right. Left. It is on your right. It is it's on your, your, on your it's, right. It's right. It's right. Okay. Okay. It's right. Okay. Okay. ¿Qué es lo que van a hacer hoy? You are going to uh, ask some question, or if you don't want to ask question, you are going to tell me. Uh, if you want to go to the Parque Infantil, si usted quiere ir al Parque Infantil, you have to do this. Usted tiene que hacer lo siguiente. Okay? But I'm going to give you time in order that you can uh, look for a specific play. Okay. Uh, en español. Les pido que uh, ubiquen un lugar del mapa. Ubiquen un lugar del mapa. Y puede ser que hagan la pregunta o que digan para llegar a tal lugar necesitamos hacer esto. But put in practice uh, the preposition that we have started. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay, okay, okay. Take a look at the map. Take a look at the map, please. For example, I, I stay in the Almacenes Vidri Centro. Yes, yeah, but 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 uh, you are going to start right here next to the Mercado Cuartel. Oh. Desde ahí va a salir si usted va buscando vidrí. Ok, I'm going to ask you a, a question. If I want to go to the National Theater, how can I do it? Si yo quiero ir al Teatro Nacional, how can I do it? Only one, please. Solo uno, then tell me. Who wants to do it? Hello. Que no lo veo yo. Ah, el te Teatro Nacional. 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 Teatro Nacional.
Okay, now give me the address. So well, it's right, six block. Okay, let me count it. One, two, three, four, five, five. And oh, six. turn, turn to left, turn up the left. Okay. Four, five. What six. else? Can we walk, walk? Walk one block. One block, okay. The national city is, uh -huh, okay, tell me. Tenemos que buscar puntos de ubicación. ¿Dónde está el Teatro Nacional? Cuando ya llegué ahí, ya giré. Ok. Turn left. Yeah, we, we already, I, I already turned left. Yeah. Or one block. Pero para ubicarme mejor, you are going to use another preposition. Next, para de uses, creo que es. You can see in front of... What do we have in front or next to? In front of Catedral Metropolitana. Ah, okay. Eso es. Okay, but I mean that you do it. You can ask questions or you want, uh, if you want, you can give me. Teleloso. Ah, okay. How, how to get to the Oso Hotel? The famous hotel. Hasta con ojos cerrados van algunos. Y ahí te venden. Hasta con ojos cerrados van ahí. Campero. Tiche, y hasta con color rojo sale para más llamativo, mire. Ah, ok. Ustedes sabrán porque yo no conocí a San Salvador. No, pues no, mañana, mañana es el Día del Padre y ya sale ahí de color rojo. Ah, ok. Entonces. Uy, qué dice. Eh, Eli, Eli. Entonces tenemos, tenemos más. If we are in the mercado de cuarteo, the, the nearest is the, la mansión. Yeah. I don't know what, why you have all el oso. But, but it's hotel. But maybe yeah. it's hotel really famous. Uh -huh. it's, it's so famous. Hotel the, the red color. Ah, okay, the red color. Okay. Uh, okay, I need that you interact each other, please. Necesito que... que, que... Alguien le pregunte a alguien, uh, por ejemplo, le dice Don Luis, Alex, how can I get to the Oso Hotel? Okay, and Alex is going to give. I'm in, sorry, in, said, I don't know what is that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we are, we are based on the, on the map. <laughs> Yo no sé por qué se ríen todos los caballeros. ¿Y qué pasará con ese? Y cuéntenme la historia del Oso, por favor. I don't know. It's famous I teacher. Creo que es patrimonio cultural de Anzalbón. Oh, Jesus. Es patrimonio <laughs> cultural. Ah, OK. No, dicen que no hay un capitalino que no haya visitado el oso. I don't know. Ah, no, no, tampoco, teacher. <laughs> ¿Cómo I don't know, no, teacher, no, no. teacher, teacher, una, una pregunta. No. OK. Va, como, va, imagínese que, va, supongamos que que me preguntan que quieren ir al oso. Ok. Pero estoy aquí en Mercado de Cuartel, pero para... O sea, yo no me puedo... No me voy a, a memorizar exactamente cuántos bloques hay de aquí hasta allá. Ok, Entonces, para okay, decirlo de una okay, manera okay. más... Por ejemplo, okay. Entonces, el, el alón o, o cuántos yeah, no. minutos puedo caminar o, o correr en hold, carro de aquí hold, hasta hold allá. On, hold, hold on, hold on. Ok. If you are in the right way, si estamos en la calle correcta, you are going to use in other places that are next or in front of that street. And you are going to say, usted le va a decir, okay, go straight ahead in this street, vaya a recto sobre esta calle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you are going to consider uh, plaza matriz. The, the, the minutes. Okay, you are going to pass, you are going to pass uh, Orco Plaza Matriz, and then you are going to arrive uh, just to the corner. And that way you are going to start doing something. Because right now on this map, we don't have the name of the, of, of the, 
but the, the strip of oh, also the avenues here. Yeah, maybe, but you, but you need maybe, to look. Maybe in front is the, is the parking of the um, cornucopia. The cornucopia. Ah, the cornucopia. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But we need to look for, for, for places. Cuando se conoce el lugar es fácil, pero cuando es alguien, eh, un extranjero, it's, it's very difficult to give an answer. Yeah? Yeah. Teacher, I have a question. Okay. A block, one block is like a, una cuadra. Una cuadra, sí. Okay, thank you. Okay, aunque aquí las cuadras son pequeñas. Yeah. En comparación, alguien me dijo, eh, vamos a trotar eh, unas cinco cuadras. Y le digo, ¿y por qué tan poquito? Y me dice, ¿por qué me dice que tan poquito? Venga, si vamos. Uh, largo, grande. <risa> yeah. Yeah. Miami, Florida. Oh. <risa> yes. Yeah, en Guarda Como, en Lynn, Massachusetts. Igual, es una cuadra, son como dos kilómetros, tres kilómetros. Ya, yeah, big one. <laughs> yeah. Exacto. Ok, I need to even shut up. Ok, entonces, ahí no puedo usar la palabra alone, teacher, en esa, en esa, en esa. Sí, ahí yeah, you can say alone. Alone is the, the, alone the first. Five minutes, say the, six minutes. Yeah, alone de calle poniente, first uh, calle poniente. Okay. Okay, pero necesito que, que, que le pregunten a alguien de sus compañeros. Okay. I've been speaking Spanish this day. Um, he estado hablándole bastante español hoy como regalo el día del padre, you know. Okay, for example. Porque dice Don Luis que no me no comprende, dice no comprende. Okay, Luis. Hello, sir. Luis, Luis. Grea, Luis, Grea. Hi, teacher. Okay, ahí Luis. Le, ahí le habla Al. Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me. Eh, I need to go to hospital. First of May, you can help me. Okay. Yes, sir. Wait a minute, if it is okay. okay. What did you say? Okay. Okay, do you look in, in Mr. Alex? How do you place? Hospital first of May. No, is hospital. Hospital primero de mayo. So, sorry, I don't see you. I don't see it. I don't, I don't see it. it. I don't see it. Yeah, I don't, I don't see, see it. I don't see. Okay. I don't see it on the map. Hospital. Primero de Mayo. Híjole. It's a long, it's a long, Mr. Alex. <laughs> it's a long. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Mr. Alex. I don't help you, okay? Okay, maybe it's a, a long drive in 15 minutes. You turn on the strike. Oh, oh. Is it stone strike teacher or, or drive strike? Go, go ahead. Go, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, could be. Go straight ahead. Go, go ahead, straight ahead. For uh, drive me for the 50 minutes and the first street. Um, al llegar el aquí, aquí digo, puedo decir en. en Porque llegué a la UTEC, que es una esquina de la UTEC, exactamente. Pero llegué acá, como digo, para poder, cuando llegué acá, por la situación que este está en la esquina, el UTEC está en, en, la, en la corner left, corner street. Ok. Pero necesito virar 
a la izquierda. <laughs> Make a turn to the left. Make to the left, pero, o sea, le digo que, que maneje por 15 minutos recto, pero al llegar a la, a la oh, en la UTEC, eh, turn, uh, turn left, to block. Ok. En, en cross, no, en, en turn right. Ok. En turn right. Um, from east, esta calle, no sé cuál es. No hay muchos puntos de referencia, te chame. <laughs> yeah, but, but you are doing well because if you say, okay, as soon as you get, get to the Utex, you are going to turn left and then go straight ahead for two blocks and uh, make a right and go for one block. La primera era de Mayo Hospital is uh, teacher. Hello. If the street is one way. Ah, that is a, that that let me see. Yeah, it looks like it's one way. That means that we are we need to we need, need to need go to... only just uh one block and then make a right in the calle Arce. Teacher, yes. pero Teacher, pero one way es como un sentido único. Yes. Yes, one way. And wrong way es sentido contrario. Yeah. Ok. Pero la idea es ahí se quedó cerca, ya está cerca, no se preocupe. No va muy ya grave. no se pierde. De ahí le pregunto un minutero. <ríe> 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 Yeah, it's so complicated in El Salvador. Okay. Somebody I want to participate, please. A lo que están durmiendo, que no, no se les mira. Okay. How can I get to the Corte de Cuentas de la República? De lo que no han participado, please. Hello. Hello. Um, you need to watch for um three blocks. I don't know where it is the person that sent me the direction. Really? Um, tomando de referencia de dónde a dónde. Porte de cuentas, pero saliendo de qué lugar, dicho. Hay blog de la de la X, no hay blog. Yeah, ah, aquí está, okay. está la X. Ajá. Okay, sorry, sorry. No hay blog. Ah, uh, okay. no hay blog. Yes, and next, next, a uh, right, right, derecha, right. Ahí, ahí. Okay, make a turn, a turn right. Right, and uno, dos, tres. In, in the, in the field. Six, six block. Okay. Go straight ahead for six block. Okay. What else? Four, five, six. Six block. Um, and then? The court to the Quintas is two. just in the corner. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm going to share with you this map in order that you can practice. Ahí le vamos a, a, a pasar el, el mapa para que practique. Okay, teacher. Sí, porque ya veo que me están durmiendo. No, 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 no. Algunos no quieren. No quiere, no quiere, no quiere. No, teacher, for me is difficult direction. Yeah. I, I, came, 
I can in, in Spanish, ya no digamos en inglés. <laughs> okay, let us see some, uh, some dialogues with, uh, related to that, please. En ojo, tenemos prepa expresiones específicas para preguntar cómo llegar. Ya, yeah. can you see? It? Okay. Yes, teacher. Hello, number one. Excuse me. Yes. How do I get to the post office? Okay, lo que está en rojo me interesa que se lo aprenda. How do I get to the post office? ¿Cómo llego al, al correo? ¿Sí? Ok. En el letter dice, go past the hotel and to left onto the main street. Go one block and to right. It's across from the train station. Thank you. Ok. I need two volunteers to perform the day out. Dos voluntariados, que por favor me lean eso. Mi teacher. Mi teacher. Ok, le, do it, do it, do it. Le, leído, ¿verdad? Yeah. Excuse me. Yes. How do you like get to the post office? Go past the hotel and turn left onto the main street. Go one block and turn right. It's across from the train station. Thank you. Okay. Now take a look at the map and see how is the, 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 the direction, please. Observen el mapa y vean cómo es la dirección, la respuesta que le da. Le dice, go past the hotel. Vaya, pase del hotel and then to left, y gire a la izquierda onto the main street. So en la main street, go one block and to right. Y luego gire a la derecha. derecha. It's across from the train station. Frente a la estación, the train. Ok. Mario. ¿Alguien más que quiera leerlo? Mi teacher. teacher. Ok, tú. Tú, tú, tú. Excuse me. Go ahead. Yes. How do, how do I get to the post office? Go past the hotel and turn left on the main street. Go one block and turn right. It's across from the train station. Thank you. Okay. Maria? I need that you practice. Teacher, I have a question. Okay, tell me, sir. Eh, 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 cuando uno responde, thank you, eh, cuando se le agrega so much, thank you so much. No, no, es, o es algún polite. Generalmente, cuando se usa el thank you, es, raras veces usamos el thank you so much, pero cuando estamos uh, como más agradecidos de, de algo, we use it. Thank you so much. Yeah. Ok, teacher, thank you so much. Ok, thank you so much. Yeah. But in this case, we say thank you. That's it. Okay, what about this one? This is the second one. Okay, how do I get to the supermarket? Ojo con esta expresión. Esto es importante. How do I get to? How do I get to the supermarkets? And the answer is, it's easy. Eso es fácil. It's is to left at the corner. Onto the Apple Street, go one block, 
The supermarket is on the corner at First Avenue and Apple Street next to the police station. Thanks. Okay, take a look at the map. Take a look at the map, please. Somebody want to do it now, please? Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Teacher Dijo, how do, how do I, I get? get how do I get? Yeah, how do, how I, get? do I get to the supermarket? Yeah, how do I get to the supermarket? It is a third left of the corner on to yeah. Apple Street. Apple yeah. Street. Go one block, the supermarket is on what is on the corner of First Avenue in Apple a street next to the police station. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Okay. I need that you repeat this expression, all of you. How do I get? How do I get? How do I get? How do I get? Yeah, how do I get to the bank? How do I get to the supermarket? How do I get to Metro Centro? Different places. How do I get to uh, Flor Blanca Stadium? Different places. Teacher. I do, I get to yeah. the supermarket. Yeah. Try, try, try to keep it in your mind and just put the, the, the also here and ask the question. Imagine you asking the question, how do I get to the also hotel? <laughs> hotel is I see. Easy, it is easy. It is easy. Yes. Okay. Let me see, we have one more. Okay, now this is the number three. I'm going to read it, excuse me. How do I get to the restaurant? Let it be say, go try past the bookstore and uh, the hotel to the left onto the main street. It is the second building, or oh, listen this. It's the second building on the left between the hotel and the bank. Thank you. Estamos dando puntos de referencia. Es el segundo edificio a la izquierda entre el hotel y el banco. Yeah? But we need, yeah, yeah. To, we need to learn those expressions in order to tell it to somebody. Necesitamos aprendernos esas expresiones para poder decirlas. Ok, necesito que la, alguien lo lea, por favor. Mi teacher. Ok, do that, sir. Excuse me, how do I get to the restaurant? Go straight past the bookstore and the hotel. Turn left onto Main Street. It is the second building of the left between the hotel and the bank. Thank you. Okay. Okay, fue un monólogo porque no nadie hizo a nadie, solo, solo hizo A and B. <laughs> Excuse me. Hold, hold the, the, the rest of it. In the hotel, the left one my said is the second building in the left between the hotel and the bank. Thank you. Okay. That's it. How about this one? This, this is going to be the last one. <clears throat> Can you read it? Hi, Sarah. <clears throat> I'm glad you come, come. 
you can come to my party on Friday night. My house is easy to find. From your house, go straight up. Oh Broadway to the corner of Broadway and Second Avenue. To right, go straight to block and then to left. It's on the left of the corner on First Avenue in the center of the street. See you yes, on Friday. Yeah. And now the question is, which is Amanda's house according to the directions? ¿Cuál será la casa de Amanda de acuerdo a la dirección? A, B, C, o D. No. Maybe letter B, teacher. Letter B. Yes. Second one. Mm. Uh, letter B. Letter C. Letter C. Teacher. Remember that it's in the second avenue. Letter D is the second we'll avenue. Ahead. Letter C is the Fridge Avenue and Central Street. It is on the left of the corner of First Avenue and Central Street. Yeah. It is letter? C. Letter C. Letter C, teacher. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Let me see the time that I have now. Okay. Let it see, let it be. Okay, before to finish, I would like to show you something here. Let me see what is it. Okay, uh, a few can see in the sentences. We are going to use a, a imperative sentence. What do you know about imperative sentences? ¿Cuáles son las oraciones imperativas? Tell me. Do you remember? Ah, okay. For example, give me an example. Have a good night. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes, teacher. <laughs> so, drink water. Uh, okay. Uh, open the door, close the window, go straight ahead, two left, two down. Yeah. That is the, the, the main the main point. I want, I want to show you something. Because, because of the time. Por el tiempo, por el tiempo. Echémosle culpa al tiempo. Okay. I don't know if you can see this. You can see it? How we are going to use imperatives? Yes. Okay. For example, go straight, uh, go past, to your left, to your right, go up, down the street, walk down the street, go on for two blocks. Take the fair left or right. Do the phrases about how a subject, yes or not. Use a verb with a personal pronoun, an imperative to give directions. Cuando usamos una oración sin el pronombre personal, 
estamos hablando de oraciones imperativas, cabal, ok. Bueno, I guess there is. I don't know if you have any question. Just let me call the assistant the last time. And according to my calendar and okay. schedule, I would like to talk with, I already talked with Luis Alfonso, I guess. Yo creo que ya hablamos con Luis Alfonso. Yes, teacher. Okay, alguien que no haya pasado, por favor. Al final eh, necesitamos que todos tengan la misma oportunidad. No sé, Elmer, si ya eh, tuvo los 10 minutos, Edwin. Me teacher. Ah, okay. But remember, on Friday I need one and from... <laughs> no more uh, Friday because... <laughs> because Casi creí, uh... creí que me iba a decir como dicen los, los, los hipotes en la escuela. Hay repetition, profe, me dijo. <risa> algo, algo, algo así le oí <risa> no. okay. Eh, ok, hold on, hold on I don't know what's going on with my computer It's not working so I wait. Ok, Alex, is there present? Just say present please before Yes, we leave. present Ok, Ana Beatriz no vi a Ana Beatriz hoy, no sé si apareció. No, no está quizás. Ana Judith. Se me durmió. Ok, Blanca Elizabeth. Present. Carlos Alfredo. Carlos Antonio. Present. Todos se me durmieron. Claudio Iván. Edwin. Elmer. Present teacher. Ok. Francisca. Present teacher. Ok. Present Gonzalo. Teacher. Present teacher. Ok. Gonzalo. Eduardo. Present teacher. Ok. Carla. Present teacher. Marcela. Present teacher. Luis Manuel. No estuvo. Ok. Walter. Present teacher. Present teacher. Luis Manuel. Mi teacher. Yeah, Luis Present Alfonso. teacher. Ok, ok. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Luis Manuel is there? Yes, teacher. Ok. And Luis Alfonso too. Ok. Walter. Present teacher. And Nestor. Present. Okay, thank you. Okay. It was a pleasure to be with you. For the one that uh, have a son daughter, congratulations for tomorrow. I hope that you can have a, a good and excellent uh, Father Day tomorrow. I wish you the best. I hope that you enjoy and la like we said, don't drink too much tomorrow. Don't drink too much tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Okay. You too, man. Thank you. Okay. I, I hope to see you. I hope to see you on Friday. Okay, teacher. Okay. Take okay. care. Bye, everybody. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. See you. Okay, 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 okay. See you Friday. Bye, everybody. Okay. No se les olvide hacer las tareas en la plataforma, por favor. Okay. Ahora mismo, okay. teacher. Ahora mismo, okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, it's up to you. Okay, Alex. Tell me, Alex. Okay, teacher. Uh, first, uh, I have um, I understand the class and uh, yesterday uh, the use going to going to okay 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 excellent it's gonna be easy um okay the, the, the form is either is um is b 
Okay. Plus, plus going to. Going to plus. Plus verb. The very form of the verb plus complement. Exactly. Okay. But remember that you are going to start with a subject. Vamos a comenzar con un sujeto. Sí. Dependiendo del sujeto o el pronombre, uh, así será la forma del pi que vamos a usar. ¿Estamos claros? Ya. Yeah. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. eh, he. He. Eh, he is. He is going to travel to Mexico the next week. Ahí está. Ok. Si la oración fuese I, ¿cómo sería? I. ¿Cuál es la forma del bi que va con la I? Um, la forma del bi son tres. Yes. Are you they? No, la forma del bi son tres. Son am, is, and are. Uh -huh. Okay, ah, entonces, so, so, so era, ¿dónde hay este? Am. I am going to. Y luego le agregamos el verbo. Ah, la otra es, eh, como termina, por ejemplo, el, el going to, lo que es el, el verbo no cambia, ¿verdad? No, en la forma base, porque como en ya la tiene. En la forma base, no le, puedo, no le voy a agregar el ING ni nada de eso. Nada, 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 nada. Nada. Así que. Dice que tuve problemas con la, con la tarea de ahora, por eso no la completé, porque este, bueno, arriba decía, decía que complementara las la oraciones, este, pero hay una ahí que, que sí, no, no me da, y le he dado vuelta a todo hasta conexionar, pero no, 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 no me da, no, no, no sé por qué, que es la de la, la que tiene, él tiene, es como que tiene una, tiene un, un picnic, Next, el próximo viernes, creo que es. Ok. Entonces va él, entonces le puse este, he, he, sí. he, he, um, he, are, creo que le puse. Ah, ok. Ahí está el problema. Pero este, después le puse el he is. Después le puse el he, he is. Ahora tengo una, 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 una pregunta ahí de que el, el have to, el de, ese es el verbo, ¿verdad? Sí. El have to. Entonces este, le puse he is going to have, have the picnic next Friday. Okay. Pero no me, pero no, 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 me dice que está incorrecta la, la forma esa. Bueno, y bueno, entonces no es solamente agregar este, el, el, lo que es el, lo que es el be más el going, going to, sino que no sé si hay otra, otra regla para, para, para pero, eso. O es sí, un tipo, pero, tipo de trick, que le llama? Pero la instrucción que le dice arriba. Solamente dice este complemento los espacios con el con el verbo es break, o sea, con, con el verbo que está entre paréntesis, lo que dice arriba en la, la indicación. Ok. Usando el, el, el going to. O no hay otra forma, así debe ser siempre. O sea, no se, esa no lleva otra clave aparte. O otra forma parte de, 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 de complementar esa, esas oraciones así. Siempre debe ser por ley el, 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 el be, el going to, más el verbo, el complemento. Generalmente cuando se está hablando del going to, se, eh, siempre vamos a usar la forma del be. Por eso la, la estructura dice be plus going to plus uh, be form. Uh -huh. Ahora habría que ver si... Eh, hay algunos ejemplos que están en vez de decir I am aparecen en forma corta am 
se puede algunas veces usar en la forma corta de la pose. Ajá. Y el, ah. y el, y el, have, el have to, ese, ese, ese en, 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 en lo que es la oración siempre va como have to o solo have. Es que ahí es donde no le estoy comprendiendo, porque si, el, si ya tenemos el going to, entonces ahí lo único que necesita es agregar el verbo have. Ya no necesita agregar el tú otra vez porque ya está. Porque ya está, ajá. Si el verbo que le está indicando dice to have, entonces el verbo que va a usar es have. Porque ya tenemos el tú ahí. Ajá. Ok. Va. La otra es este... Bueno, ya, ya estamos ahí con, con, el, con el going. La otra es, este teacher, es que siempre, siempre he tenido esta. Bueno, yo aprendí, bueno, varias cosas, pero no así como gramática, como lo, como lo estoy viendo ahora, sino que es puro eh, de la calle. Ok. De la calle. Entonces, este, lo que me está costando es, este, no sé si es por lo que usted dice, de que necesita práctica o aprenderse lo que son las lo que son la, la, las formas o las, o las para poder por ejemplo unir frases porque yo siento que siempre estoy diciendo este como como hablando como gringo pues como como cuando el gringo está hablando viene aquí y, y quiere hablar español verdad ahí ah. siento que hablo o sea no nos no 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 puedo usar este el, 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 por ejemplo el tú el, el be en, en, en frases o en oraciones incluso hasta algo cortas por eso como que solamente meto palabras, pero no, pero no, como que no las conjugo. Eso, esa es la, la situación que estoy teniendo. Mira, lo, lo que le he observado, le voy a explicar para ayudarle. Sí. Lo que le he observado es que eh, algunas veces cuando hace oraciones, se le olvida agregar el pronombre. Y ese en inglés no puede obviarse. Al menos que sean oraciones imperativas, de lo contrario no. Ajá. Por ejemplo, usted dice, you need, o I need to, o, o you need to. Ajá. But I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, to get into the platform and see the exercises. Estoy tratando de entrar y, y, y ver... No para darle, eh, sino un ejemplo, pues. Un ejemplo, sí, sí. Uh -huh. ¿Qué número es? ¿Do you remember that? Creo que es como la tres o cuatro, creo que es. No es la dos, me parece. Dos, tres, cuatro, son cinco. La, la cuatro creo que es. Let me see. Pero es de la sesión que de la sesión cuatro. No es. Sí, la sesión cuatro, la última. Es, 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 es el, el, la tarea de ayer. Ok. Let me see if I can get it. I'm putting the link on the machine. Tarea 16, tendría que ser. 5, 10, 15, 16, la 17. La 16, la del lunes. Uh -huh. okay, let me see. Okay, introduction complete the sentence using the form of B going to plus the very in brackets. Yes, I is. Yes. And then uh, the exercise number one. Two, three, or four. Uh, four, I guess, is the picnic. 
tiene un picnic este para el viernes. Next, next Friday. Yeah. Y aparece entre paréntesis el to have. Ok. Pero es he, ¿verdad? No, you. You, you, ah, exacto. You, entonces es el you are. Había, había yo este escrito. You are. You are going to. How. Y se complementa con lo que está ahí. Que next. Next. Eh, o picnic next Friday, parece. Ah, ok. Lo que le recomiendo es que tenga cuidado con los pronombres a la hora de dar las respuestas, porque eso es lo que le está dando problemas. No es you are. Ya, en el caso que fuera el, el pronombre you, estaría bien así. Ajá. Sí. Ahí solo es de ubicar a dónde va cada una de las formas del be. En ese caso son tres, como dije, a, a, sí. if, and are. I am, he, He, she, and it, use is, uh, we, you and they, they use are. Ok. Y lo otro, y la otra teacher es, todavía nos queda. Yeah, we have. Uh, y la otra teacher es este, la, pero yo no sé si ahí es de aprenderlo realmente o porque es, es por ejemplo, el, yo hablo como, estoy hablando como que si todo el tiempo fuera en, en, en presente simple. Sí. Ajá, pero. Esa es la otra, porque a él le oí, uh -huh. si hace algo, por ejemplo, el día de ayer, uh, you need to use the, necesita usar, por ejemplo, si habla de, de ayer trabajé, usa el pasado del verbo, ¿sí? I went to visit this. Ahora, si va a hacer preguntas, you are going to use the, the auxiliary. Did you, did, did you work yesterday? Did you work? Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. La pregunta. O, por, o por ejemplo, usted dice, last year I went to, el año pasado yo fui a, ¿sí? Pero no puede decir, last year I go. Porque hay que Ajá. usar el, el pasado del verbo. El pasado del verbo. Sí. Quiero que... Pero es, por ejemplo, este... Yo no fui a trabajar ayer. ¿Cómo sería entonces para decir eso? Yo este... Ahí donde le digo. Entonces yo este... Podría decir... I... I was... I, I, I don't was... Ahí está. Entonces, uh -huh. eso es presente. Entonces, usted va a decir, I didn't go. Uh -huh. I didn't go to work. I didn't el, go. Pues, ese es pasado. Sí, es pasado. Entonces, el, entonces ¿en qué lo uso, Ticha? Eh, es, que, es que no debemos de confundirlo. Cuando yo expliqué eso de los pasados... Había una diapositiva donde decía que con el verbo vi había que tener cuidado. Por ejemplo, el was es derivado del verbo vi, que es ser o estar. Usted lo puede usar cuando dice, I was in Mexico. Yo estuve en México. ¿Sí? I was working. Yo estuve trabajando. Ah, ok. Ahí está la diferencia. Tío. Sí. O cuando dice usted, I was His best friend. Yo fui su mejor amigo. Cuando alguien pasó, güey, cuando alguien ya murió. Y aquí no puede decir, I, I, I did you best friend, ¿va que no? No, no, porque el did es un auxiliar, es un auxiliar. Que, que, lo va, que lo va a usar eh, y el verbo principal va a estar en presente. Ajá, que en el caso de go. Ajá. Por ejemplo, yo le pregunto, ¿Did you travel to Guatemala the last month? ¿Viajó usted a Guatemala el mes pasado? Okay. Entonces, la respuesta que me va a dar usted me va a decir, yes, I did, o no, yes, I didn't. Yes, I did, o no, I didn't. Si fui o no fui. Uh -huh. Sí. Si, por ejemplo, le va a preguntar a alguien que trabaja con usted si ya terminó, ¿cómo le diría a usted? 
Eh, you didn't... Ahí está. You... Okay. Tenemos que comenzar la pregunta con el did. Did you finish? Did you finish? Yeah. Did you finish? ¿Ya terminaste? Si fue a ver un partido, una uh, película, did you enjoy it? O si fue, si fueron a... Aquí no podía usar el, 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 entonces el do, el do, do didn't, do did. Porque había unas oraciones como que tenía que ir el do antes para hacer una pregunta. Sí, pero es en presente. Es en presente, ajá, entonces le digo. Es en presente, o sea, no en pasado. No en pasado, entonces aquí es, es, es comenzar con, con el con did. Sí, todas las que sean en pasado eh, y son yes, no question, usted va a usar did y el verbo en presente. Pero el auxiliar, el did, le hace que, aunque el verbo esté escrito en presente, el significado es en pasado. Es en pasado, ajá. Y lo otro creo que es, teacher, creo que el otro creo que es este, nada más cuestión de, quizás de, 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 de conocerlo para poder aplicar, por ejemplo, este, el, el pasado de los verbos. Sí. ¿verdad? Por ejemplo. El, Yo les envié una tablita, no el, sé si la tiene. Sí, sí, la tengo, la tengo. O sea, ahí nada más es, 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 de, es, de, es de conocer nada más el... el, el Primero, lo que tiene que hacer es saber el significado en español para que Ajá. lo pueda relacionar. Segundo, eso se aprenden como las tablas. De así, ah, de, memoria. Yeah, de memoria. Por ejemplo, ah, dice, yeah. be, zero star, was, where, been. Me aprendo el presente, el pasado simple y el participio. Y el participio. Porque lo voy a usar todos siempre. Uh -huh. sí, ahí sí. tiene una tablita. Sí, sí, la, 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 la tengo ahí, la, la que nos dio sí. usted la vez pasada. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if I have another question or that's it. No, no, it's, that's it, teacher. Okay, okay, like thank you. Cosas. I, okay, I, thank really, you teacher. I do really appreciate uh, if I have some information about what you are asking me, I'm going to send you some information. Creo que tengo algunas de información ahí que le puede servir. Voy a buscarla y se la envío. Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Good see, night. You, see you, see you, see you next Friday. Okay, teacher. Okay, thank you, sir.